guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First two commenters on my last video were Shia and Anna. Thank you guys so much for being early. As always, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is ring the notification bell so that you can get here early and be one of the first two commenters. So today's video is a DIY pumpkin spice latte recipe because PSL season is upon us. But not everyone wants to run down to their local Starbucks every time they're craving a little pumpkin spice action. So today I'm going to be testing out a DIY PSL recipe. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And now let's get on to the video. For this recipe, you will need two tablespoons of canned pumpkin puree. I have an entire can, but if you just have two tablespoons, that's all you need. Half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. You can either buy your pumpkin pie spice or you can just make your own. I made my own with the recipe that is in the description box below. Two cups of milk. One tablespoon of maple syrup. One tablespoon of vanilla extract and one cup of freshly brewed coffee. First, whisk together pumpkin puree, milk, pumpkin pie spice, syrup and vanilla extract, and then turn the heat to medium. Once steam is visible, remove from heat and pour a mixture into blender. Put the lid on and turn the blender on, but really make sure you are securely holding on to the blender lid because otherwise the contents of the blender will spill everywhere and go all over your kitchen sink, which is not a good thing. So really make sure you hold on to the blender lid and blend it for about 15 to 20 seconds until it is frothy. Finally, take your one cup of freshly brewed coffee and pour it into the frothy milk mixture. You are now ready to pour your coffee into a glass and enjoy! I've made my pumpkin spice latte and I'm going to take the first sip and react. Okay, so it is very good. I like it, but I like a lot of coffee stuff. I do have a couple comments. It is very coffee-y, which you may be like, well, duh, it's a coffee drink, but if you taste the actual Starbucks PSL, it's not so coffee-y, like, it's pumpkin-y, and that's, like, sort of the main taste, if that makes any sense, and coffee's sort of like an afterthought, whereas this, it, the coffee is very overpowering, so if you kind of want just, like, pumpkin coffee, I'd go for this. If you want more, like, Starbucks PSL, if you really want to replicate that, I would suggest toning back the coffee a little bit because right now the coffee is very, very prominent. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of my videos, click the information button. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.